Would you state your full name for the record, please, Mr. Flint? <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, Christopher Columbus Cornwallis, IPQ, Harvey H., and Page E.P. <laughs> That's very interesting, but are you also known as Larry Flint? A.K.A. Jesus H. Flint Esquire. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Are you the publisher and the editor-in-chief of Hustler magazine? I am the publisher of the uh, most tasteless, sleaziest, most disgusting, greatest porn magazine on the face of the earth. Thank you. I have in my hand Exhibit B, which is a typewritten script of a Campari ad. When you approved this ad, did you have any specific knowledge that the Reverend Falwell had ever engaged in sexual intercourse with his mother? No, but I have a photograph of Falwell uh, having uh, fellatio with the sheep. Now, I don't Your think Honor, that... my client is in a heavily medicated, <laughs> mentally agitated state. We will stipulate that no such document exists. I have it, and Mr. Fartwell is a liar, a glutton, Mr. and a sheep of fire. My client's name is Jerry Falwell. Jerry Falwell. That's what I said, Jerry Fartwell. Are you trying to hold the Reverend Falwell up to ridicule? No, contempt. Scorn. Uh, truculent. Obloquy? Parlez-vous français? Oh, je parle français mieux que toi, monsieur. Oh, embrasse mon derrière, mon ami. Oh, God, my French is so rusty. It's just bon appétit. Rusty. Bon appétit. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Quiet in the courtroom. I love you, baby. Jesus loves me. <laughs> Mr. Flint, do you have an aversion to organized religion? A virgin? No, a virgin, a virgin. You heard me, Mr. Flint, an aversion to organized religion. I, uh, you bet your sweet ass I do. And do you think that gives you license to mock the leaders of great religious movements? Well, goddamn right. Larry, no, objection, Your Honor. This is totally irrelevant. Overruled. Free expression is absolute. Thank you, Your Honor. You agree? Order, ma'am, if you can't control yourself, you're going to have to leave the courtroom. So that it was your intention to hold Reverend Falwell out to be a hypocrite, wasn't it? Well, that's what he is. But didn't it occur to you that Reverend Falwell must have an integrity that people can believe in if he is to practice his profession? Yeah. And it was your intent to destroy that integrity and his livelihood, if you could. To assassinate.